Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. And really appreciate you guys swinging by and spending some time with me on today's video. And guys, got a little bit different video today. We're gonna to be giving tips and advice on how to catch bass on crappie jigs. Because believe it or not, there's situations out there where crappie jigs will catch a bunch of fish. So I'm gonna go over what those situations are, when you might wanna try them. Uh, you know, especially if you got it, if it's tough and you're hard, having a hard time to catch some fish. So we're gonna get into that in today's video. And also guys, just a couple quick uh, housekeeping tips before we get started here. Just a quick invitation, anybody out there that would like to book an on the water lesson with me, you can do so by going to my Facebook page, Randy Block at Professional Angler, and just shoot me a private message for the info there. And also thank you very much everybody that's been going to my description and the videos and using my Tackle Warehouse link to purchase any fishing equipment. Um, that Using that link's been a great way to support the channel, so much appreciated. Okay guys, crappie jigs right here. Just little bitty jigs used for crappie right here. I first saw how effective this was um, years ago because me and my dad, we'd always uh, fish boat dock. We'd always go down and fish some like heated docks uh, with crappie jigs to, to catch crappie in the winter time. And also we had a couple friends that had like boat docks on Grand Lake and we'd go down there crappie fishing most of the time in the winter. And um, more often than not, you know, if, if we caught, you know, 20 crappie, you know, in a day with a jig, we'd catch five or six bass. And, you know, a lot of them would be keepers under those situations. And then um, I started reading stuff a little bit later about this thing called the float and fly technique. Now, if you don't know what a float and fly technique is, it's sort of a, it's a clear water technique some guys like in Tennessee developed where they're basically taking little crappie jigs like this and putting them on a bobber with like 10 foot of line out, line out and just throwing them along like bluff type banks and reeling them real slow and catching bass in the winter time. Now guys, the time that a crappie jig is gonna work really good for you, you've gotta have sort of the right situation. First of all, you've gotta have a lake that has a mixed species of bass. You gotta have, it doesn't work that good in like just straight largemouth lakes. You need to have a lake that's got some spotted bass in it, some smallmouth and some largemouth. Because when you have that situation, especially if you have a lake that has a pretty decent population of spotted bass, Spotted bass are what hits these crappie jigs better than anything else out there. So all you guys that fish like, you know, Lake Norman in North Carolina, Lake Lanier in Georgia, all the Eastern Tennessee lakes, or excuse me, Eastern Tennessee, uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, Western Tennessee, uh, no, Eastern Tennessee and West and uh, Eastern Kentucky there, both of those, those situations, Ozark lakes, or even California, the big spotted bass population, you'll wanna hear about this here. The thing that you have to have, not only with a mixed species, is you gotta have cold water. This is a cold water technique. When that water is in the 40s and 50s, it's gonna work most of the time. And you've also gotta have some pretty clean water. Now you don't have to have super clean water because we used to catch them down at Grand Lake in the winter time where the water visibility was two feet. But the times that I have used this since then where I've sort of specifically went after bass with crappie jigs is having water visibility of at least four or five foot. And the best thing that I do with that is if I get out on a lake like Table Rock Lake or Bull Shoals or even Lake Lanier, I get out on main lake bluff banks and I go to the bluffs and I start fishing about maybe 50 to 100 yards from a point. So say there's a main lake bluff point, I like that bluff bank leading up to that point. And all I'm doing with this crappie jig, guys, is I'm fishing it vertical, I'm not casting it. So I'll usually put it on four to six pound test four carbon line and I'll just get my boat out in probably anywhere between say 20 to 30 foot of water. And I just pitch that crappie jig out, maybe like 20 to 30 foot in front of the boat, let a pendulum down and just fish it vertical, just like I was crappie fishing, same th type of thing. If there's standing timber there, great. And I just slowly and methodically work down that bank. I'll just, you know, throw it out there, let it go, let it go down. I'm not look. I'm not trying to get it to the bottom. I'm trying to fish it suspended, but just, you know, let it pendulum back until it gets vertical, shake it for maybe eight or 10 times, reel it in and make another pitch out, maybe to the left or maybe to the right, and just slowly start working your way down that bank. Pay close attention guys also to any bait fish activity. If you see some bait fish activity out on those bluffs, you know, try to concentrate on that depth zone. Also, when you get to the points, make sure you fish the points there. Now, you're not only gonna catch bass doing this, but you're also gonna catch crappie and white bass and walleye 
whatever's in there. That's the thing that's cool about a crappie jig is any fish in the lake will hit it. Everything from a catfish to a perch to a bass or whatever will bite a crappie jig. Now, my favorite color by far is pink. Pink is my favorite color for sure on any type of crappie jig, whether it's a, you know, some type of a feather jig like this or a, a tube jig. I just prefer them by far. If it's cloudy and, you know, really dark out, maybe a little bit of rain, I'll go to something a little brighter with like some chartreuse, chartreuse and white. But overall, I have found that pink, I catch more bass on a pink crappie jig than any other color out there. But anyway, guys, it's just another situation. If you have some areas on the lake where you caught fish in the, in the past before and you're fishing them in the wintertime and you're struggling, just pull out that crappie jig, see what, see what happens there. If nothing else, you're probably gonna catch a bunch of other type of fish on it too. So just wanted to pass that little tip along, guys. So hope you guys are well, we'll talk later.